Hi, this is problem 24 of the AMC 10A and problem 21 of the AMC 12A. A good example of the usefulness of a drawn solution. So uh, let's check out the problem. A quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle of radius 200 grad 2. Three of the sides of this quadrilateral have length 200. What is the length of its fourth side? So if you draw this out for yourself, you may see that there's a straightforward way to do this using a triple angle trig formula. But uh, I, I don't usually remember triple angle formulae, so I needed a drawn solution when I first did this problem. So let's see how that can work. So the first step in doing a drawn solution is to decide on a suitable scale factor. So let's see how we can do that. So we have the radius of our circle, and we have the three sides of our quadrilateral. And uh, for my purposes, the best scale factor here is to bring 200 radical 2 down to 5 radical 2 and 200 down to 5. So 5 radical 2, that's very convenient. That's 7.0 centimeters and 5, 5.0 centimeters. And the goal here is to draw this carefully so that we can determine the fourth side length. And so the fourth side we're going to measure in terms of some centimeter measurement and then convert that back up to the actual uh, side length from the original scale. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to need a, uh, a circle of uh, radius 7. These sides are relatively short, so it sounds like we don't need a full circle. Probably a half circle will do. So we're going to go to our 1 centimeter graph paper and draw a semicircle of radius 7 centimeters. And you can do this with a compass, or if you're handy with a ruler, you can do it with just a ruler. And uh, we're going to basically mark off the three sides of our quadrilateral inside this uh, semicircle. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have our first side is uh, five centimeters away. Let's just make a little tick mark for that. And uh, draw another tick mark five centimeters away from that first tick mark. And for the third side, we just need one more tick mark. Great. So we have our three sides of our quadrilateral. And the goal is to measure this uh, fourth side. So let's go ahead and do that. So we see this fourth side measures uh, very close to 12.5 uh, centimeters. So now we can take this number and bring it back to our first page to discover that when we multiply this back by the 40x scale factor that we've chosen, this works out to a fourth side length of very close to 500. So it seems like E is our, is our uh, probable answer. But we have to take a glance at some of the other choices just to uh, make the best selection. And what we notice is that uh, 300 radical 2 is a little bit less than 450. And uh, all the other choices, of course, are much less than uh, 450. So we don't need to really consider choices A, B, and C. And 450 is, uh, what, approximately 10% away from E. And the way we've drawn that uh, figure, our uh, estimated length is probably accurate to within maybe 2 or 3%. So 450 is far enough away from 500 that we can disregard that. And our final choice is then E. And that's uh, probably the correct answer, and it is, in fact, the correct answer. So there you go, a good example of drawing your way out of a tough geometry problem. And I'm sure the AOPS guys will show you the mathematical approach to solving this problem. But uh, we'll see you at the next video, and take care. Bye-bye.